In Ayurveda, we, we talk about the digestive fire, and we all know what happens when we pour cold something on fire, cold water or something on fire. It tends to, to dim the fire and to go out. So in Ayurveda, when we're talking about the digestive fire, we talk about ways to make that fire more robust and so that our digestion is healthier. And when our digestion is healthier, then we can um, process all of our food also, this would apply emotionally as well, but, you know, we can just talk kind of more physically right at the moment. So the best thing um, to do first thing when you wake up in the morning before you have anything cold is to have a hot drink. And um, usually we recommend hot water or hot water with lemon or lime. Um, and you can also have, I, ha I have a hot water with turmeric, about a teaspoon of turmeric powder and a teaspoon of coconut oil in the morning when I wake up. So I just boil water like usual and do that and then have that first thing. Turmeric is very good for inflammation and so if we have any kind of digestive issues oftentimes there's inflammation involved. So um, the coconut oil helps the turmeric to be digested. Sometimes what we'll do is we won't have anything when we first get up and we'll either have coffee or something or we'll have um, you know, like a cold smoothie or something like that. And our digestive fire is a little bit fragile in the morning. It needs to kind of wake up just like we do. And so even if you're going to have coffee or a smoothie or something like that, just insert the hot water first. And try it for a while and see what you think. Uh, these practices are all, um, you know, well tested for time, but with them we have to also use them ourselves. And we don't want to make radical changes to say, okay, you know, from now on, I'm going to do these 25 different things. It's a really good idea to do, to take one step, change something a little bit. So you could keep your whole morning routine exactly the same. It's just insert the hot water first. So either hot water with lemon juice or lime, and you could put a bit of honey in there or maple syrup or something if you want. And then, um, or what I do is, is the turmeric and coconut oil. So I wanted to just uh, suggest that maybe people could start doing something like that. And then let's go into our practice. So if you're sitting, just be sitting tall so that you can breathe your, your digestive system and your diaphragm have room to move. Let's bring the awareness into your whole body from the top of your head all the way through to your toes. And take a moment as you exhale to relax your body, relax the forehead, the eyebrows, the mouth, the jaw. On the next exhale, relax the back of the neck, the shoulders, all those large muscles of the back. And then let your awareness sweep down through the front of your body, the face, the chest, the stomach, and then down through the legs to the feet. When we bring our awareness into the body, we're going to find different conditions. That's part of what happens in bodies, that there's different things going on all the time. So notice as well what's happening in your body system today. Sometimes we're relatively more relaxed. Sometimes there's more contraction or something going on. And then bring your attention to the flow of the breath in the nose for a moment. Notice if the pattern is fairly even and continuous. And then look at the same pattern in the stomach area. Notice when you're breathing in that there's this expansion. And when you're breathing out, there's a release, or a settling, a relaxation. So relaxing the muscles of the stomach and noticing this pattern and then on the exhalation, just start to squeeze a little bit through the muscles of the lower part of the belly and back towards the spine as you exhale. And then inhale, release that. So nothing too dramatic. Just this squeeze as you exhale. The, that band of muscles right at the lower part of the stomach, right above the pubic bone.
and focus on effortless, con continuous, just a squeeze on the exhale and a smooth release on the inhale. Not letting your breath be agitated or speeding up or anything. Just the same rhythm that you had before. Exhale and squeeze. Inhale, release. And then if you can isolate those muscles and you've been working with this for a while and then want to bring it into a little bit higher, so as you're exhaling, squeeze first through the lowest part of the belly and then bring the squeeze up a couple of inches higher, keeping it all below the navel center though. And then inhale, release in the opposite direction. So inhale, release the muscles that are a bit higher and then the muscles that are lower. Keep your mind focused on this rhythm, this kind of rolling motion, squeezing through the lower belly and then a few inches higher than that. If you're a visual person, you could visualize that, that flame, the digestive fire at the navel center, allowing yourself to stimulate that fire. If you get tired or if it feels like too much, just stop the effort and breathe normally for a minute and then try it again. Exhale, squeezing that fire, squeezing in towards the lower part of the belly and then a few inches higher than that. Inhale, releasing smoothly. And then let go of the practice, keeping your awareness on the navel center and the whole of the stomach area. And notice how it feels now to be breathing. Notice the expansion as you inhale and the release as you exhale. And also notice the sensation or energy in the whole stomach area. So the lower belly where you were just doing that contraction, that squeeze. Up through to the navel center. Notice if there are any sensations, any energy, any difference in how your stomach area feels. Bringing your attention to that whole area of digestion, the stomach area, the sensations in the stomach. And then bring your attention to the breathing in the nostrils. Notice the flow of the breath in both nostrils. Notice which nostril has more breath. And as you're exhaling and inhaling, focus now on the right nostril. And then focus on the left nostril. And notice right now which is your active nostril and which is the one that doesn't have as much airflow. Focus on your active nostril. Follow the flow of breath and energy from the eyebrow center through the active nostril the bottom of that nostril and back.
And then switch your attention to the passive nostril, the one that doesn't have as much breath flow. And focus your mind on that flow of energy and breath. Intending with your mind that that, uh, that, that nostril activate a bit and becomes more equal in the nostrils. Let your awareness flow from the eyebrow center to the base of the nostril. And then exhale with your awareness flowing in the active nostril. Exhale and inhale through the active nostril. Next exhalation, switch to the passive nostril. Intending for that nostril to activate a little bit more, become more equal. Back to the active nostril on your next exhale. Letting your mind be focused on that flow of breath. Next exhalation through the passive nostril. And then return the flow of awareness with the breath to both nostrils, eyebrow center to the base of the nose. Let your awareness flow equally through both nostrils. Check that your body is relaxed, the forehead, eyebrows, the jaw, the neck, shoulders, all the way down to the toes. And focus your mind into this present moment through the awareness of the flow of breath and energy. And then keeping this awareness of the breath flow, focus again on the awareness of how it feels in your stomach area, the energy in the solar plexus, the lower part of the belly. Noticing your digestive fire. And then open your eyes. As you go about the day, see if you can check in once in a while with your solar plexus and the stomach area. Just notice what's present there, what kind of energy is there. And in particular, before meals, before you eat, it's really wonderful to focus on the flow of breath in the right nostril for a minute or so, just to let that whole system activate. You could bring your attention to the solar fire. Just let yourself get your body get ready for the upcoming food. <laughs> 